Hi guys and welcome back. Today is Friday so I thought I would take you through my housekeeping routine. On Friday is when I do the majority of my housekeeping because on Friday is the day I do budgeting and I do grocery shopping and I just kind of get the house in order for the weekend. So I thought it would be fun to take you along. So what I've just finished now is my budgeting. So we do live on just one income, which is my husband's, and we get paid on a Friday. So I write out all of our needs for the week and where the money should go. So um, that is how we stay on budget. So my budget list includes housekeeping, Christmas, clothes, a rainy day fund, um, mini goals, um, household, so that's buying things for our new house when we get it. Um, Matilda's needs, so that will be when she might need a bigger bed or um, anything like that. We've already got the money kind of saved. I know we'd like to get her like a little wardrobe thing for when we move into the new place. So that's something we'll already have the money for. Um, Matilda's pocket money. Matilda gets $5 pocket money a fortnight. <laughs> She doesn't know what money is, but I'm sure when she gets a little older, she'll be grateful for it. Um, savings, extras. So extras is just to make sure we have um, extra money set aside for medical bills and things like that. So here in Australia, we do have Medicare um, or bulk billing. The doctor we go to don't bulk bill. So Medicare pays for like half of it and then you pay for the other half. So you kind of always just want to have money set aside for that. Also medicines like my thyroid medicine. It's just to make sure every few months when we go, we've got the money set aside for that. Um, beauty, so that's makeup, hair dye, all of that. And then I've got my spending. So my husband and I each get a lot of amount of spending for the fortnight. So mine at the moment is $50 um, a fortnight. Um, that might seem shocking like hardly anything to some people or it might seem quite a lot to other people um growing up i'm pretty sure my mum got like 40 dollars for a fortnight pocket money so um and then the things that aren't included on my list are things that just get paid automatically or that ben takes care of so that will be our church giving it's really important i think to give money um to a charity or to a church just giving back to the community it's just really important. He takes care of everything to do with the car. He pays our rent. And of course, in a couple of months, that'll be our mortgage, um, all the phone bills, the Wi-Fi, and then also Stan and Disney. They are just things that come directly out of our account. So after I kind of divvy up the budget, depending on whether it's a big, so the big pay would be the payday. And then the next following week is just a smaller um, shop of things like fresh fruit and vegetables that we might have run out of. So this week I've decided to go back on gluten free because I'm having lots of trouble with just my stomach and water retention. I'll probably go into that more <clears throat> in my weight loss update. But yeah, so this week's shopping will look a little bit different. I'm going to kind of split it in half. So tonight... <clears throat> when we go shopping, so we normally go shopping on a Friday night because <clears throat> here where we live in Australia, that is late night shopping. Sorry about my throat, it's all the dust because we are moving. So, <clears throat> um, so on Friday, we normally go late night shopping and that doesn't really happen anymore at the moment because of the lockdowns. So basically everything shuts here by like 8 o'clock. So this morning, I'm going to do the gluten-free portion of the shopping. Um, because we live right near an Aldi and Woolworths and a Coles. But when we go late night shopping, because we've got Matilda, we normally only hit Coles. So I'm going to go to Aldi and Woolworths this morning and see kind of what they've got. And that way tonight when we go shopping, it won't be too much of a struggle. That was a lot of words. <laughs> I don't think Matilda cares. Look at her. She's... What do you think, darling? She's been a very good girl today. So that, that is our morning. So I'm just going to write out the shopping list. And then I'm going to go over to the fridge, clean it out a little bit. I know that I still have um, a lot of my meal prep from last week. So that will be the majority of my food. So this might not be the most accurate of what we do for a big, big shop. 
but I hope you enjoy it and you come along with us. Okay, so this is what my fridge looks like. It is pretty bare. I'd say it's pretty average for the end of the fortnight. Uh, so we've got like dairy products up there, <laughs> non-alcoholic wine that everybody makes fun of me for. Um, then our condiments, milk, veggie box, olives, you know, pretty average. And then you come up to the freezer. The freezer has got um, Matilda's meals, so I make all of Matilda's meals for her. So that's those there already. Um, we've got some frozen chicken. Um, frozen meals that will be the majority of my food for this week um, and then of course just frozen fruit um, frozen vegetables ice packs I think that's soup so pretty standard yeah so I'm gonna get ready I'll we'll finish getting ready and then I'll get Matilda ready and hopefully we can go and do this before around eight nine o'clock um, because we are doing the final, the final, can I talk today? We're doing the final, um, paperwork for the bank for our house on Monday. So I really need to start <laughs> just getting everything ready. The house is looking pretty good at the moment. Okay. So we just got back from our walk. It was a lot longer than I was expecting, if I'm honest. But this is all of the gluten-free food that I picked up I think the total was around $50 which is why I have started putting more money into the food budget because gluten-free food is a lot more expensive like I brought um I brought this pasta and this was four dollars just for this alone so yeah whereas normal pasta is like 99 cents so I bought some gluten-free pasta Gluten-free self-raising. I bought these, some um, of the milk chocolate rice cakes. On Friday, we always have fish, so I brought some gluten-free fish. <laughs> I brought fish fingers for Ben as a bit of a joke. I'm sure he'll enjoy them though. <laughs> Matilda, she is eating her treat she got today. She got, oh, what'd you get, darling? She got some banana yogurt. I got some of these stone baked pita breads. This is what we use when we make pizza. Um, I got some ginger nuts. Oh, what's in there, Dad? Come on. I think Matilda wants to show you hers. Come on, Dad. Here you go. Um, we got this um, to cut and have as dessert throughout the week. Um, and then I brought, this looks like a lot of muesli bars. Oh, but Matilda, um, when it comes to snacking, she really only lets you eat either muesli bars or smoothies. Otherwise, she starts crying because she wants the attention back on her. So, I always get these. These are gluten-free. They're really yummy. They're like 150 calories per bar. Um, so, this isn't like the only food I'll be eating. This will probably last around two weeks, the snack things. But like I said, most of my meals are already meal prepped and planned and they're already in the freezer. That's what happens when she tries to feed herself. <laughs> there we go, Dally. Is that yummy? And then tonight, when we go back, it'll be mainly just for all of Ben's stuff that he wants to um, eat. So we normally spend around $150 a week and then in total it's um, $300 a fortnight. And since lockdown has happened, I've noticed that food has gotten a lot more expensive. Like I don't really know what it is, but I go in and I buy what I normally would buy and I'm normally spending like $100 more a fortnight. So I always keep $100 as a backup just in case. <laughs> yeah, but you want to look at yourself.
Matilda. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. You gonna have a nap? You gonna have a nap? Yeah. Come on. Mm. Hello, little love. She have a good sleep. She have a good sleep. Matilda had a really good nap, and I also napped. Um, I was supposed to be doing housework, but I've been really, really tired lately. I think my thyroid medication is off a little bit, but my doctor is really hard to get in to see because everybody wants to see him. He's one of the most popular doctors where we live. Um, here you go, darling. Oh. Come on. You want to say hello? <laughs> um, the weather has turned for the worse here today. It was really sunny in the morning. And now it's raining and quite windy. So I'm happy we went for a walk when we did. So I think what we'll do now is we'll just wait for Ben to finish work. He is working from home. Um, so wait for him to finish up and then we'll probably go and finish the grocery shopping and have dinner and do all of that fun stuff. And then our night routine. But I think Matilda will just want some milk and maybe some custard. Do you want some custard? <laughs> So yeah, so that's probably what our afternoon will be like. Okay. So Matilda and I are going to have some Snuggies. And we're going to read her favourite book. And her favourite book is called God Loves You, Little One. Okay, you ready Tilly? Here we go. Little one, God made you to be wrapped in precious love. He gave me his blessing when he sent you from above. God is in the rainbow that decorates our sky. His love is in the sunlight that shines on you from high. God is in your cherished smile which brightens up my day. Throughout your life, my dear child, the Lord God will guide your way. God be ever in your heart. He is here in my heart too. My darling, may you always know the Lord God's love for you. Mm. Yeah, so that is her favourite book. We read it quite often. I think she just really loves the cute little bright pictures. They are just so beautiful. It's always nice to find some good wholesome books. So we are just going to have some cuddles. I want to drink a coffee and just enjoy my time with her because she's so cute. Aren't you, darling? Dika, say hello. <laughs> you gonna say hello? Come on, darling. Okay, so we have just gotten back from doing the final part of the groceries. Poor little Till, she is very conked out. She has fallen asleep. I think it's around 7.30 now. Um, this is everything we got. So this is basically all just Ben's food and things. I probably won't do a haul of this because the lighting's really bad and it is getting quite late. Um, so yeah, but all that we stuck with budget. Um, we were actually $30 under budget, even though when I went to the, the pay, it was right on budget. But I brought two things for Matilda. One is for her birthday present and one is for Christmas because of course we're still in lockdown. So the only place we can really buy anything from at the moment is Coles. So I brought those two things for her. So today for the fortnight worth of groceries, we have spent $250 minus the 30 for the two things 
that are for Matilda. So next week when I go in, um, that will just be the top up for vegetables and milk and normally coffee. Coffee is important. So yeah, that is what we have done today. Um, budgeting and housekeeping. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye.